Well, that's all awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so, so welcome to the vlog. It's a sad moment for, for us because we are dropping the dogs off at the dog boarding place for two weeks, which, if I'm honest with you, I'm fucking struggling to deal with mentally right now because this is the longest time that we've ever been out the dog without the dogs. Yeah, it just makes me sad. It makes me sad. Let's give final cuddles. Mingy. Mingy, come. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. And these cuddles that you give me, I'm gonna miss you so much. Gonna miss you. Gonna miss you. Maybe you have plenty of fun. And uh, there we have it. They are. They dropped off. God, even I teared up when when he, when I left them. It's, it's, I think it's stupid, but it's not stupid at the same time because they are family. I don't care what anyone says. No, they they massively impact your life. And leaving them, I know they're together and they're gonna you know have fun and they're gonna be fine. Just my head, I'm like, well, what happens if something happens? You know, I like my routine with the dogs, I like the cuddles, the affection, and, and they massively, they massively help you out, you know, when you're down as well, they give you a purpose, they give you a reason. Yeah, it just makes me, uh, makes me a little bit upset because they are such a big, and when, when you leave them, it's just, yeah, it's very sad. It's very rarely cry, not really a big crier, certainly when leave the dogs. I don't know how people could do this on a regular basis, go out with them all the time, and everywhere we go, they come with us, and I wouldn't change that for the world. It blows my mind how people just get a dog and just put it in a, a boarding place for months on end or go away multiple times a year and just leave that dog. I couldn't I could do that. I remember we was looking at dog boarding places. We went to one. Remember that one we went to and it was like a fucking prison. Guys, it was like a prison for the dogs and I was like, saw a, we saw a cocker spaniel in like this prison cell. We were like, just melt on my heart. I was like, no, we can't leave them. They only get exercise 30 minutes a day. The place that they're staying at is good. It's kind of like an open house with other dogs and they can roam around in acres of field they can walk around the house as such so i'd much prefer that than just leaving them in a fucking prison cell and anyone who's leaving their dog in a dog boarding place that's just like a prison just leave them with us just drop us a message can they do that yeah of course yeah, yeah. we might start a dog boarding place you know we'll look after we'll go on fucking hikes every day for them. they'll love it yeah we'll do that that's our next business venture when you see that announcement on instagram drop us a message what was your New Year's resolution? What was my New Year's resolution? Yeah. Stop wasting money. No. Make an effort in my appearance. No. You forgot about it. Yeah. You clearly have. What is it? Don't be a laughing person. I got a friend not to speak. If I speak, I get in big trouble. So as you can see, we're on the train. We had some stress. I got this thing from Victoria. She's a last minute fucker. She's so last minute, but I'm just a last minute person now. And we left the packing to about an hour before we left. We needed to buy a new suitcase about three hours before we left. Because someone didn't realize we were short on suitcases. So man got a fucking decent one from Argos. It's got four wheels and you just wheel it along. Best one, you can deal with the shitty one. I'll have the premium one. It must be 60 quid though, so I ain't happy about that. Views. On the way to the airport, we've got a night flight. We'll see if they can update us or upgrade us to premium economy, innit? <laughs> Our train got cancelled, shock, and. We try to get on another train and Vicky just not having it. She gets stressed about this situation. This is where her autism comes in. She just can't function properly. And I'm just here to wind up because I get joy from winding her up in these situations. You know what, Vicks? <laughs> Done. Back. Got through security and that. I book out when I go through security. It's almost like a police car being behind you and they think you're following you and, they, and you think they're following you. Now nah, they start again. Yeah, that's right. Was that right? Fuck. <laughs> Didn't sound right. George is hungry. When I go through security, it almost feels, feels like I'm going to get stopped when there's nothing wrong. You know, it's one of those, we ain't ate since about 10 a.m. this morning. Man's hungry, okay? It's 6 fucking p.m. So we got some food. I don't eat any of this dumb shit. But we thought, why not? We're on holiday. Got the old pink gin and uh, lemonade. Done, not? 
Yeah, not bad. This is a steak. What is it? Steak sandwich. Steak with tender cheese. Melted cheese. I ain't got a clue. Guys, it's just steak and cheese in a baguette with salad and onion. Uh, try to do the taste test. You are like that? We're like. I know Vicky so well. Look at the colour of my bread. Wait, show the other side. Look at the colour of the bread. It's a little bit fat. And look at the bricks. Originally, I had her plate and I like, right, let's swap. Because immediately, when she looks at that bread, I know her so well, she's going to be like, and I'm going to take it back. And I think, oh, fuck it, I'll just eat it myself, innit? Yeah, that's delicious. Shut the fuck up, we're both hungry. We'll see you, hopefully, board of the A380. Dream coming true tonight, guys. Can't wait for that. See it in the distance right now, and I'm like, oh my fucking God. Today's going to be a good day. Anyway, who wants it? I'm the real shitty, I'm the real shitty. Uh... I've got my comfy pillow team. If I'm doing any longer than four hours, this is body rules, no. <laughs> this is this. Because <laughs> your traps and that, when you're sitting down, your traps are just fucked. It's my first flight on the A380. It's my dream flight as well, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> we don't have a combination. Come on. A380. Fucking come on, seven hour flight. I'm gonna be like this. Last time I was on a night flight, I slept on man's shoulder like this. So maybe he's gonna come back and I'm just gonna sleep on his shoulder. Broke it. Can you see me again? It's not bad actually. I don't know what the time is right now. Half ten. And it's dinner time. Right? Before we go for the plain food, because why not? Why not? We're on holiday, as they say. We're we'll playing a bit of uh, show me old screen. A little bit of blackjack, you know. Gambler and me. I ain't really won much anyway. We went for either tandoori chicken with rice and all meatballs with mash. Sounds like carrot. Sounds like caravan. Cheesecake. Talent. What's that? Well, actually, potato inside. Mayo. A little Jack Daniels. The plan of action is to hopefully get a little bit boozy so I can actually fucking pass out and get some sleep. Because I think that's the only way I'm going to sleep. The other thing as well, my fucking bum is sore. Now, I don't know whether that's from one or two things. Either these chairs or two, injecting our glutes. I think moving forward, we've established, don't inject your glutes because it's quite uncomfortable if you have a bit of tissue, scar tissue going like that. This is what happens when you're with Ricky, she just fucking gets all like, start with this with the food. I'm just like, get it down me, I don't give a fuck. Right, get it down you then if you eat it first. Can you just eat so I can put the camera down? Yes. Right, the issue is I don't really have any sort of lactose or dairy, and this is just dairy full. So if I shit myself on <laughs> Please don't shit yourself. Mm. Is it nice? Tandoori chicken. Look at you stopping your fucking head. Meatballs, mashed potato and... Brussels sprout. Brussels sprout. You know what, it ain't bad for shitty airplane food, it ain't bad, you know. It's not opening. Fuck's sake. Oh, fucking bright. Amazing.
We've arrived in the Holy Grail, the land of Dubai. Fucking knackered though. I did not sleep at all last night. At all. Oh my glutes. Guys, there were some people there that didn't even sit or get up. They didn't even get up off the fucking chairs. Chairs? The seats on the plane. I don't know how people do that. Sitting there 10 minutes, my right glutes going, my lower back's going. I can't sit still for fucking five minutes. I don't know how people do it. I hate flying. Our backs are fucked. Wicks is injured. We're all, we're just broken. But we're finally here. Say hi to the vlog, Vicky. I'm feeling optimistic. I'm yes. feeling tired. Yes. I got video in my teeth. Video teeth. We made it. No, you're okay. You're okay. Yeah, we're we're basically nits at the moment. We haven't showered. We haven't done anything. Wix knows I had earwax in my ear as well. I never yeah. had earwax in my ear. It's not too bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I've smelt worse. Smelt worse. Just give us a cut off fucking two seconds. We're fucked, we're tired. Travels seven hours on a plane. I'm definitely going business class next time. Fuck it, innit? We'll just do it on the way business back. Business class? Yeah. That's like five grand. Business, I'll put, it, I'll put it on the business, YouTuber. Come on, influencer, you're done. But I just want to say thank you for preparing for some food, because we've got some food. Yeah, I've gotten into Gordon Ramsay. Everything that Gordon Ramsay releases, I'm, I'm watching, so I'm channeling my inner chef. <clears throat> chef? Shut up, you little slazzer. <laughs> Explain to the people what we have here. Brown rice. Mm -hmm. Brown rice, chicken, peppers, eggs, carrots. Look at that. Of course, with mayo, barbecue, and ketchup on top. You can still eat well whilst you're away. Fucking no excuses, right? A little taste test of Victoria's special. Because you've got in your beard. Hmm? In my beard? Yeah. It's nitty as fuck, innit? Nitty as fuck. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. Very good. We ain't had chicken in ages, so it adds a little bit of flavour to it. Nice. Solid 7 out of 10. What you could improve on is how long it took you to fucking make it. You. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the camera. Very good, we enjoyed it. I swear this chair's broken. Or this is how far you lean back. No, what, if, it's, if it's broken, no, just leave it. Don't do that. Why do you back? Oh, you broke the chair more. It's yeah, me or? Yeah, it's broken. Don't lean back. Fuck's sake. Right, My fat wonder, innit? Before we do anything, coffee. Coffee frappuccino, almond milk, sugar-free syrup, with no whipped cream. We don't know what sugar is. It's so why error, means, we have not got any sun cream. I refuse to go on the beach with no sun cream, because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna burn, I'm just gonna ruin the fucking day. Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up blistered, everything's just gonna be sore, like laying in bed's gonna be sore. I'll be honest, I ain't risking it. So operation one is underway, and that is finding sun cream, coffee, and of course. And then we'll go on the beach, I need, to, I ain't got no swim shorts either. Imagine coming to Dubai with no swim shorts. That's just me all over. I might risk it with the gas, but what I don't want it is just then it being really soaking wet. My knob come, like you see my knob for it? Well, you train without underwear anyway, so you can see your knob all the time. <laughs> so I need to find swim shorts too, which is going to be the challenge. But either way, I Kite Beach, like we like it here. We came here the first time we yeah, came here we as well. Did. So memory. a big memory, sit on the beach, have a coffee, vape. Good times. Hotter though this time. Being here for five minutes, I'm fucked. Man's fucked. Man's sitting in the shade already. I can't deal with this. It's probably, I think it's about 30, 34 degrees right now. And I think it says it feels like 35 degrees. It's probably the hottest I've ever been. I don't think I've ever been in this weather before. And it is fucking hard to get used to. Man's hot. Look at this, stressed. Stressed hard. Like, although one thing it does when you're in the, in the old warmth is it brings out the veins, which is a good sign. So I might look a little bit dead. <laughs> Fucking hell, bitch. Fucking hell. We're off to the. I'm not gonna stand like this. This is cool looking at. We're, We're off, off to the fucking gym. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Of course, we've just rocked up to Banus, and of course, I've got to show you the car collection. Which one are you taking, guys? I'll probably take this Eurus, because I like the colour of it, it's different. 
Porsche, and their Ferrari. Yeah, we'll take that all day, all day. We've just arrived at Venus. First thing I'm gonna to say to you is what? If you're not, you don't come here. No, actually, oh. the taxi guy fucking stunk. He stunk, didn't he? Let's be honest. Can't stand B.O. I appreciate people sweat, people smell. I get it, it's normal. I do that, everyone does that. But you can't fucking go to work smelling like that, you know? And I'm sitting in your car full of air con and it's whiffing up my nose and I'm getting a headache from your B.O. You can't be doing that. See, so yeah, that was fun for the fucking past 20 minutes. And I feel like, you know when you're around a, a smell which smells bad? I feel like I'm smelling bad now as well. I feel like I need to go wash. If you're in Dubai, come on, you can afford a shower. You can afford this. At least some aftershave or some deodorant, all right? Or some spray the car, in it. Anyway, <laughs> second thing, don't come to Banus if you're natural, all right? Just don't bother because you're going to be the smallest person in here. Everyone is fucking jacked to the T. I look around, I think, Fucking muscle, 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 muscle. They must be pumping grams of gear here, I can imagine. The annoying thing is, is they all train my shit, and I'll start debating my life. I'll start debating, I should be training this way. I'm in for Appa. I think we're training with Harley. I haven't messaged him yet. We're training in the morning at the moment. We're gonna keep it short and sweet. I'd like to not train any longer than an hour at the moment, because as much as I love training, I love, yeah, an hour. As much as I love training and enjoying being in the gym, we're in Dubai. We don't wanna spend four hours like we did last time in the gym and missing out on other opportunities throughout the day to do stuff. I'm hoping to get this done in an hour, an hour and 20 absolute max. Training pool. I'm not going to do certain exercises, I'm not going to flap about with a logbook, I'm just going to go in, have some fun and fucking remind myself as to why I did this in the first place. When I started training, I didn't start logbooking, I didn't care about fucking resistance profiles and machines, I just went in there, lifted heavy, lifted well, got on with it and I made progress from doing it. And these moments of time, I think just taking a step back from the logbook and not over the other because I rarely ever come here, I'm here to enjoy it, I got my Gatorade. Finch workout cards, we didn't bring any EAs or interest, so I'm just gonna sip on blue, cold blue raspberry flavor. Yeah, it's good, it's good. This has got 24 grams of carbs in it. No, it hasn't. No, it fucking hasn't. Yes, it does. Sorry, it's Arabic. I can't fucking read. Otherwise, you don't even think you can see that. But it's all numbers Arabic. aren't in Arabic. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. Twenty-four. It says fifty-one, but twenty-four. So it's either going to be fifty carb or twenty-four carb. But based upon calories. based upon the calories, it's one hundred nineteen calories. Guys, I ain't got a fucking clue over it. I tell you, I'm just freestyling as we fucking go. Even you don't know. Yeah, See, even do. you don't know. No, you don't. Yeah, so it's twenty-four grams of carbs. Yeah, said that in the first place. Anyway, I might do a little tour, but I'm scared people are going to jump me and nick my camera. Some, yeah. We're probably the poorest Yeah, we are probably the poorest here. It's fine though, because eventually we're going to be the still wealthiest. The poorest, yeah. yeah, still the poorest here, but wealthy in our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shut the fuck up. Train, train hard, and. Train hard. Why are you making steroid jokes for it? Train hard. <laughs> Train hard, not trend hard, like these fuckers do in here. God, it smell, you can smell the testosterone. I don't know about you guys, but trend, testosterone, and GH all have a funny smell to it. And you just feel it woofing in the air, so it's full of it here. Anyway, I thought, what is this, four minutes long? Four minutes, 18. We'll do this. Narvaza on the beat. Fuck it once it. I, I can't, I don't know how people train without straps. It blows my mind and they're able to train to failure. I'm thinking, no, you can't, surely not. But a lot of them are bigger than me anyway, so who the fuck am I to judge? Oh, 
Yeah, it gets hard, that. Good, come on. Yep. Good, that's fucking strong, mate. I did three and I was like, fucking hell. Yeah, good. Easy. If you're up too high, yeah. automatically you're gonna, you're gonna use enough of a bicep. So I think from that angle there, when you loosen that grip, it yeah. allows that elbow to just drag back. Yeah. Nice. I like it. I really like it. Different. Do you do one more in there? I'll do one more. Yeah. That's just feeling good. <laughs> it's going okay. I'm actually learning how to use my back. At the moment, I have a terrible back, but Harley's given me some cues to think about, improve my, uh, my muscle connection with my back, which I'm going to take moving forward. And it's, uh, it's just nice to have a, a catch-up talk, because normally I'm anti-social in my uh, training. I don't talk to anyone, so actually talking to someone is uh, made me feel a lot better. So, yeah, little things like that make a difference. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> Selections, of course. This one is fucking humongous. 469. 469. Shut up, Wicks. <laughs> Another uh, Rolls Royce. G Wag. G Wag. <laughs> Probably the shittest car here is this, but it's still brand new. Porsche Taycan, I think. I'm not quite sure. Oh, another G Wag as well. Yeah. Fair enough. Taxi, can we get a taxi home your Lamborghini, please? I'll pay you a 4 AED. So our plan of action, I'm fucking roasting by the way, are you? Yeah. In these tops as well, these tops oh, are not yeah, the one in this weather. Gosh, come on, look, we're wearing your shit. Come on, come sponsor us, please. Please, we buy all your stuff. Plan is we're gonna go to the beach and chill for a little bit. Why not? Because we seem to enjoy going to the beach and relaxing, right? Because yeah. we can't do that back at home. We like coming to a nice place. Or if we do, the dogs shit themselves because they drink so much oh. salt water. Guys, we went up to Liverpool once. Uh, took the dogs of us to a beach, and they went swimming in the sea. All of a sudden, I turn around, I see Diesel having projectile fucking vomit and diarrhea everywhere and I was thinking he ain't getting in my car again so we stayed there for a couple of hours until they kind of stopped but he was leaking out of his ass and we got back and I've never seen a, dro a dog drink so no, much no, fucking you water. the main part of it. What's that? We got back luckily he didn't shit or vomit in the car and as we pull up he just pisses in it. Yeah yeah because yeah. he drunk so much water he started pissing in the back of the car. Could you imagine the fucking state of his piss as well? So that was not fun so I'm glad the dog's are not here because otherwise they'll be shitting everywhere and I'd have to pick that dirt, well, I couldn't even pick it up. Just let them squ they're squirting out their arsehole. Yeah. We went to a place called Bake My Day. We've got this whopper of a bagel. Check this out, that bad boy out. Salmon bagel. And then we also got a, yeah? Should I have a bite? Yeah. You'll like that. Soft, nice bit of salmon, whatever they've got on top of it. A little crunch with the salad.
Mmm. Tuna's nice. Better than Greg's. So I'll pick this one though. Yeah. Oh, you're oh, sorry. Oh, come on, I'm doing half Wait. Dunno, what was this? A Moroccan oh, chicken yeah. something. It's fucking dense. It feels like a brick. And it's fucking hot. Oh, the mouth bite into it. If I, bite, if I burn my tongue, I'll be fuming. You'll leave that tingling sensation on the fucking tip of your tongue. It's really lovely. Fuck we bought here. I thought a bit into a poppadom. And that concludes my first 24 hours in the bar. I'm hoping you enjoyed that vlog. I don't know, I ed I'm editing it and I'm thinking, ah, shit in it. I sit there sometimes and I think, are people actually gonna watch this? But I'm just gonna post it anyway and we're gonna do our thing. Comment down below slider if you watch the whole thing. Please like, please subscribe, plenty more content coming. Go suck your mud up. Sounds cold. Active gang, anything goes. Running it up, ain't got time for holes. ZK's hand things, rusty poles. I scream RP when you left your bro. I was looking at 15 years, bro. I stuck down magic like dynamo. I'll jump out, bear with my peers, swing, ching, and ruin your clothes.